Welcome to the Box of Inspirations. The place where you get the best for you and your business from successful people and entrepreneurs. Sandra D. Robinson. I'm the founder of Charisma on Camera Studio and Horse Powered Leadership Training. I'm a consultant and a coach, speaker for companies, authors, and well established experts. I help them uncover their most powerful personal presence. So you may know my face from TV. So I've had major roles on soap operas, primarily Another World, Sunset Beach, Bold and the Beautiful, General Hospital, Days of Our Lives, The Bay. And I've also had the privilege of guest starring and and working on many primetime television shows and films too. I'm a TV radio host, I'm a wildlife advocate, but most importantly for today's experience here, I'm a personal power enthusiast. So now that you know I have extensive acting background, you may think, ah, well, of course, naturally, that's why she's teaching on the topic of how to look and feel like a rock star in your videos. But the reality is I was really very shy. So I hid behind those characters as an actor. I was absolutely a mess when I was told to be myself. And I'm sure some of you have heard that anytime you've gone to get in front of a camera, they say, just relax and be yourself. But this meant Because I couldn't do that, I was humiliated, I was embarrassed at almost every charity event that a show cast would be called to support. Any red carpet or interviews, forget it. I I couldn't even book a spokesperson job to save my life, and I knew this was not going to be a temporary problem. I had to make a change. So I sought help. I believe in coaches, but I had 13 different performance coaches over seven years. I took I don't even know how many self-empowerment seminars. I learned learned neuro-linguistic programming, hypnosis, and even stage presentation. I learned all of those at a master level. So I really committed myself. But it took all this and more. Actually, an incident where I cracked up laughing on set during a scripted hosting job that I was so grateful to have been booked on. And I was thinking I'm going to get fired right then and there. Instead, I learned from the director and I learned that the audiences much prefer real humans over perfect hosts. So be yourself on the best day, but let go of the need to be perfect on camera. I know that holds a lot of people back. No one is perfect except God, and I don't think he's stepping down from his job anytime soon. So what I'm going to share with you today will be the juicy bits from the transformation that not only changed how I appeared on camera, but how I walk into a room. I'm going to give you some secrets to looking and feeling like a pro in your business videos, even if you have never looked into the camera and done a video before. So to start off with, it may be hard to believe, but something so unique to you and so intimately connected to every cell of your being holds the power to break through the blocks that people naturally put up to avoid life commitments, life resolution, resolutions, issue resolutions. And that thing is your personal story. It's your experience, your struggles, your subsequent successes. They create real emotional connection to your potential clients, customers, and even business partners. The manner and the way you approach and share this information is absolutely crucial if you're going to lead people in any capacity. When I say lead people, I mean you could be leading a movement. You could be leading one individual to a sale. But in everyone's story, there is a defining moment. So somewhere in your story of your life, I bet there was a time that seemed like hell and you just kept going. This perseverance led to, well, some people in the industry would call it a hero moment. So if you want to pause here for a moment and allow the image of you with the wind blowing through your hair, standing as the camera pans in for your hero shot in the feature film of your life, this is where it would be. I mean, my my whole thing is you got to have fun with this process of discovery and telling who you are and owning everything about you. So this moment that you overcame is the moment you have to be sure to share and share it often because this is the moment. This moment is the very foundation of your story. It's what people will relate to you through. It's the bridge that connects you emotionally to your clients and customers. And here's something that's interesting. I really during the studies of of my back background here during all the studying that I did, I got really fascinated with human behavior in the brain 
human beings to make conscious decisions from the area of the brain that processes emotion, the amygdala. So when I talk about having an emotional connection with your audience, it's not a woo-woo idea, as we sometimes call it, but it's really the most effective way to build rapport and get others to follow you. Because in the sense of good rapport, you can have people follow you really anywhere. And that's what we're going for whenever you're getting in front of a TV or video camera and you're telling your story and you're talking about you. It's the connection here that helps them to see that you're like them, that you can understand where they are, what they've been through, how they feel, and you are living proof that you have the solution to help them with their problems. So video, TV, other visual media too, like webinars and public speaking, they can put you in the position to create rapport with your audience. Your story can secure that rapport. And like I said, with that, you can move people to action. You can get them as a client, a customer, you can get them donating to a charity, voting, whatever it is, but you need to have that rapport to really make your videos and your presentations effective. So I'm a big fan of stories. No great surprise since I, you know, my background is in acting and telling stories for a living. Uh, I love metaphors as well for teaching and engaging of an audience. But the signature story of your life is the one that we're going to fall back on again and again. And that said, um, what, why? let's talk about why stories affect us the way they actually do. So let's just pause for a second here, take a, a side trip and consider how we humans subconsciously react to stories and why we do that. So for a second, I want you to think about the answer to this question. Who told you your first stories? Chances are you're saying your parents, your grandparents, it was family. It was somebody most likely that you trusted. So subconsciously, stories, when they're told to us, create a level of trust in that individual. You need trust if you're going to help people move to action. So in your videos, you're going to be giving the viewer three things that they want the most. You're going to see when someone or even you click on a thumbnail of an expert and you're looking for help to a problem, you're looking for three things. And so is your audience. They're looking to see that you get them. Remember, I said you understand them. You know where they where they've been. You know how they feel. Second, that you have the knowledge and the experience to help them. And then third, that they can trust you. Now, if you get number one and two right, number three, that trust is going to come pretty easily. So when you're telling your story, make sure that you focus on the recovery, not the problem. It's really easy sometimes to get pulled into the the struggles and the drama of where you were, because I'm sure it was very dramatic. But for the sake of using your story to propel others to action, it's important to show your recovery, your triumph, so to speak, over the tough times. Explain how that struggle helped you to gain clarity over the dark ages, you know, um, and how you can actually help others. Your goal is to give hope to what's possible. So load up the positive, positive results and reinforce your authority with the triumph. Positivity is extremely attractive and empowering. Positive people are very charismatic. I mean, realize I, I started a company called Charisma on camera. So I really work a lot at figuring out what we define as charismatic. Positivity is one of those things. So when you're telling your story, stick to the positive, stick to what is possible for your viewer or your listener. When you're introducing what you do or the product that you offer, make sure that you focus on the benefits. Um, The benefits uh, are extremely important. That's what people want to know. What are they going to get from it? They always focus on, hey, what am I going to be able to succeed in by learning from this person? In fact, really quickly, um, I have to share with you the one way that you can actually overcome what people would call stage fright. And it could be just be a feeling that you're like a fish out of water uh, when you get in front of a TV or video camera, or it could be like it was for me, completely paralyzing, the idea of getting up in front of people. But the one thing you can concentrate on is when you're telling your story, you're talking about your stuff, think about what you're delivering. What are you giving to the other person? Because your thoughts are like your, your physical body. They can only be in one place at a time. They're either up in your head, and that can be a scary place. That's where all that negative self-talk can come in and that fear can surface or they can be on what you're giving and who you're giving it to. So my suggestion is get really, really clear on your story, who you're giving it to and how you're serving. Get really clear on an absolute 
clear focus on an individual that you might have helped in the helped in the past and really focus through that camera lens and speak to that person. Video is a very intimate conversation. Don't worry that so many people and millions of people could be watching, some people think, and maybe they are, but they're all watching one at a time. So get out there, tell your story, have fun with it. Put as many stories into your presentations as you can so that you can build that emotional connection. Be really clear on what you're delivering and who needs it. I want to thank you right now to Joseph and the Box of Inspirations for being able to let me share this. And if you want any more information, you want to get some free training, you can actually get free video training. See me showing you some of the things that you can actually do starting today to make your videos better. Go to charismaoncamera.com. No fancy spelling, just charismaoncamera.com. And get your story out there. There's an impact in the world that's just waiting for you. Thanks for tuning in on today's episode. Head on over to boxofinspirations.com for full recaps and much more.